Hello everyone and thank you all very much for listening to our pitch today. We are Revive. My name is Christina and I am here with Danielle and Georgia and we are going to talk about our ad campaign for the exciting new brand of chapstick hitting our shelves soon. First of all, I will hand it over to Georgia to discuss with you about our branding before Danielle will have the honour of presenting the storyline of the advertisement. We will all then discuss the dynamics behind our choices. Revive is a chapstick focused on renewing, changing and ultimately reviving a person's world. The brand aims to create and promote positive associations with the chapstick as not only a high quality lip moisturiser, but also as an effective source of rejuvenation and revival of life, hence the brand name Revive. This was done purposely as many people within Western culture will associate the term revive and rejuvenate as an essential to a healthy, lively, colourful and luxurious lifestyle. Ultimately, we are attempting to invite consumers into our ethos of rejuvenating life. The brand targets everyone of all race, gender and age, thus being inclusive of the whole community. This is because Chapstick is such a universal product that it can be used by anyone and we don't feel that we need to limit the audience by segments. The brand's identity is of unity within the community. In order to effectively portray our brand concept in a 30 second advertisement, we decided to take an artistic and unusual approach that tells a story and provokes emotion. The use of bright and vibrant colours in the build of our product creates a significant juxtaposition against a black and white background portraying images of a city. By making our products colourful and vibrant, it addresses the fact that colour is often attached with a lively, happy and healthy lifestyle, which is exactly what we wanted to associate with our brand, Revive. To further promote the idea of revival, the colour and magical chapstick rain brings back colour and life into the once black and white themed city. The negative connotations in the scene are overwritten by the rejuvenation of the chapstick. The scene opens on a black and white wide shot of a dull, lifeless city. The shot zooms into where the audience is introduced to the community of people all dressed in a spectrum of blacks and greys pushing past each other in a hurry to get to their offices. This business-like environment is uninviting and cold. The shot transitions into mid-shots that feature a dismayed man among the hordes of people in the streets. Suddenly, a crack of lightning splits the sky and the roll of thunder quickly follows after. A wide shot shows the community looking up at the sky in anticipation. After a few seconds, colourful chapsticks start falling from the sky. Wherever the chapsticks land, a burst of colour replaces the once dull and lifeless surroundings. Gradually, the city is shown transforming as the world around them finds colour. The people are mesmerised, however they still remain colourless. A slow motion close up shows a chapstick landing on a flower as it bursts into a drop of water landing on the petals, reviving the dying black and white flower to be beautiful, alive and colourful. The people are drawn to this magical transformation. They begin to look at each other waiting for someone else to make the first move. The man is intrigued by what's happening around him, specifically the flower's regrowth. He enthusiastically picks the chapstick up and applies it. To his amazement, an instant change occurs as his mood is lifted and he is bursting with colour. Everyone around witnesses and rushes for their own chapstick in excitement and subsequently burst into colour and into life and so they all rejoice. The ad ends as the audience sees the commuters in good spirits, laughing, comparing colours and dancing. The world is happy again. The scene is finalised with Revive's slogan, Rejuvenate Your Life, displayed in the centre, along with the logo to identify our brand. The Revive advertisement has demonstrated our brand concept creatively and attracts the audience to buy into a certain mood of happiness and an appreciation for life. Consumers are willing to trust in the feelings garnered from ads, and from this, the text taps into the niche of storyline-based ads. Our ad ties in with the four out of five senses, the smell of a chapstick, the foreboding sound of thunder, the vision of bright colours and the feel of soft renewed lips. The Frontline documentary states by implementing these senses, it creates loyalty beyond reason. Our advertisement outlines the revival of life through the reign of chapstick and also portrays a reflection of society and the different environments we can see ourselves in. Through semiotizing our product, we are able to reconstruct reality in a sense that is relatable yet captivating. The scenes at the beginning of the text are an exaggerated depiction of the state of society today, being highlighted in black and white, suggesting a dissociative nature. This in binary opposition with the transformed vibrant world bursting with welcoming and happy attitudes. When they apply the chapstick, they are revived to their true colours and different ethnicities are embraced. The use of genre helps the audience to understand the connotative meaning behind the colour scheme. Society recognises bright and vibrant colours as to communicate fun, happiness and life. 
The denotation of a black and white colour scheme gives an insight to a colourless world with connotations of dullness and emptiness. We are conditioned to understand the use of colour which assists in connecting our message with our audience. In this advertisement, the falling chapstick is a symbol, indicative of rainfall. This was pivotal in communicating the overarching theme of hydration with a clearly recognised symbol that falls from storm clouds. The use of the motivated sign of water is purposeful, relying on the signified meanings immediately connotated. The audience cannot help but relate the signifier on, in terms of hydration, life and metamorphosis. These signs ultimately create the connotations and feelings we want our audience to associate with life without and before trying our product. The shot of the flower also has a symbolic and connotative meaning. It is used as a major turning point in the scene. The slow motion aspect of the droplet falling on the petals emphasises the moment where characters can experience the magic. Connotatively, the flower symbolises a fresh start in a lifeless community, and with the product, the revival of themselves is attainable. The connotation of the flower is a signifier for beauty, growth and love. It unconsciously encourages the people to feel more inclined to try the chapstick. We apply these elements as we believe that they will shape a likely interpretation or denotation of happiness and liveliness, which shares our branding and ethos. Compared to the flavour and feature-focused ads of other chapstick brands in the market, Revive stands alone as a unique story-based advertisement. Brands like Burt's Bees and Carmex have oversaturated the clogged market with what the product can do for the consumer. No brand shines through the blanket of descriptors and claims. Spurgeon highlights the importance of overcoming the clutter. To differentiate our brand, we focus on the overall emotion and associated values possible buyers would identify with Revive. The heartwarming storyline of the advertisement prioritises how the viewer would feel after watching the story unfold and associate that general feeling of positivity and life to our brand. This method would be able to cut through the clutter of the chapstick market and create Revive's identity. It will spark people's interest through our application of semiotic tools, a splash of happiness and reviving the life around them. Thank you all for listening to our pitch and we hope our advertisement has inspired you today. And remember to revive and rejuvenate your life.